Good evening friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to see about Yes Bank Limited and basically after uh, two, day, two days of choppy market or we can say one day, one and a half days of choppy market we saw a little momentum that has shown in Yes Bank today but this news can impact this again and again and again for every month three to four times ratings will come guys I will tell how this happens first week a uh, good news will come okay good news will come the share jumps and a bad rating comes the share comes down again and another good news come the share goes up and another rating the share come down and another good news up bad news down so this is basically about this bank limited friends so if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button because you could get our latest update regarding many shares including this S bank limited so before going ikra downgraded this S bank limited we want to see what are the basic things to note before investing in S bank limited and uh, three things the agm has been approved for this 10000 crore of fundraising the second news is that uh, four bidders are trying to invest and they are, i think they have submitted a non binding agreement with S bank limited and the result is delayed due to this capitalizing process which may come on March 14th 2020 so these are the three news or latest updates regarding S Bank Limited so now without wasting time now let us go and see the ICRA report now what they have given we want to see it friends and this is basically what they have given here and they are given here press release on ratings by ICRA so ICRA what has basically done is that S Bank Limited ratings they have downgraded outlook remains negative so what was the reason behind this rating is that the rating down here concerns the delay in capital raising process of s bank limited so the first reason is i saying is that the delay in raising the amount of capital required and the second thing they are trying to say is that they are expecting a further increase in the quantum of stress exposures and non-performing exposures given to the limited resolution and recoveries so friends the second point what i'm trying to say is that you should know a part of loan is given to uh, parties which have become a uh, light of insolvent or in the going to be insolvent for example adaj group and also you should know that cafe coffee day and etc these companies trying to attain the maximum recoveries that can possible because as you know friends two or I mean in this month itself yes bank limited has sold a lot of shares in sickle logistics limited which belongs to coffee cafe coffee day and they are trying to get their recoveries back as soon as possible but as you know friends ratings always focus on the negative point of the stock rather than a positive point which can come to yes bank limited and basically they are saying this has this happened and the next point they are trying to say is that accordingly the quantum of capital requirements was not as expected to increase from the AV estimates because first the bank told they are going to rise up to 2 billion November 19 which was upsized to 1.2 billion on since October 19 however the same not has been materialized and this is a valid point because as you know guys and that's, that's almost mean 6 months from now still now yes bank limited cannot be able to raise the amount of capital required because uh, there are many parties who are willing to contribute a lesser amount to S Bank Limited but what they are trying to say is that we need a big investor because if a big investor invests it could give a confidence to all those small persons who are trying to invest in this S Bank Limited and also they are trying to say is that their NPA is also bad because uh, you should note a main point in this because uh, recently Vodafone Idea Limited uh, has a loan exposure with S Bank Limited because if Vodafone Idea Limited closes down or shut this operation, the amount of loan recoveries that can be made from S Bank Limited fall drastically. Already, several parties or several customers of S Bank Limited is being trying to recover as much as possible. But in this kind of situation, we don't need like Vodafone Idea to come down up to this level and exceed this market because we need all the industries to survive because. This industries can pay loan to the banks and also yes bank limited could get the amount of amount possible but if you ask me friends whether this rating is finalized whether this is the final thing no 
always you should know in SBI Limited and, and in another stocks whenever when a ratings give mean when the credit it is given by a rating company they usually say now it is like this in future if there are any positiveness we will upgrade if any negative you will downgrade then why now I don't know why guys because whenever you want to say something to a person or a lot of shareholders 17 lakh shareholders or the shareholders of S Bank Limited so you are thinking about the 17 lakh people one or one one people may have one one emotion to it lot of investors has invested in S Bank at a lot amount because you should know this news is fight of negative news but see the amount of impact that can be created on the 17 lakh shareholders they are they will be forcefully willing to sell at the less price and earn losses and this is why the main reason that all people try to earn losses because patience and being positive is the one and only key you know to earn a lot in market and also invest in a good share basically yes value is a good share but the time frame is very very bad i think within a six months from now we can see a good future for this bank limited so basically what they're trying to say is that key ratings which may given so what they're trying to say is a credit challenges because you should note the loan book is not been very very good for this bank limited which may occur this and also continue delays in capital rise and amount is already said to you friends guys because uh, uh, capital rise is a one and only important thing and this is the must need for S Bank Limited because for the future operations and also to set aside the bad loans and stressful loans given by S Bank Limited and also you should know the high share of wholesale liabilities and they want to maintain this because uh, they given the liquidity position is adequate liquidity position is adequate but uh, they given that it is been a confirmation by because uh, liquidation of a bank is very, very important the bank itself should not get a crash crunch if a bank itself get a crash crunch means that's all the operation of financials has come down to a lot of low level guys and uh, what are the racing sensitive given that positive triggers or which may move the yes bank to a great level they're saying this is rarely unlikely to upgrade it unlikely to upgrade it given the negative look the size of stress exposures relation to the current capital so they are saying that ICRA could revise the outlook to stable if S Bank Limited can get a rise capital set us, set aside the expected losses. Moreover, the stabilization of deposit base because we need depositors because then only we can get money in order to lend to persons. And this is the la latest or latest update regarding S Bank Limited given by this ICRA persons. And they are given that which may pull it negative or down because they are telling that this news may pull it negative which news means they are saying that if the S bank does not get the adequate capital then therefore it can see a further fall in the ratings downgrade and uh, now basically friends we can ask me now what is the final call on S bank limited if friends ask me I think we already said we are very very positive on S bank limited but the time frame is very very important because each and every shareholder or investor in S bank may be a short term trader, a long term trader or a medium, medium to short term trader because uh, each and every person has their own financial dependence and what. So basically the expert target of 53 rupees in S bank I am saying this from the first because I think uh, the once this capital issue is going to be sorted out soon we can see a lot of hope coming from this S bank again because uh, recently you should know that 10,000 crore of amount has been approved. Now the process is being continued to find the various investors who may come to who may come and invest. Not alone getting this agreement is important but also but also the right person at the right price the person should invest in S Bank Limited because the S Bank Limited has got a name four or five years back when the people said yes bank limited can be the next multi bagger because the share was in the range of 400 but it, it turned into a multi bagger because from 400 to 34 rupees of what we see the amount of downfall the share has faced only due to two reasons the enough of capital position is not there the second reason is that the second reason is that the amount of loan given to the various persons and finally friends we expect a good thing that should happen for S Bank Limited 
which could move its bank limited into a great heights in future and uh, thank you friends for listening till this now and tomorrow impact will be definitely sure on s bank limited yes we are seeing a mixed impact on s bank limited let's hope uh, this is the crucial point for s bank limited because a lot of red facings has been faced by s bank limited let us hope all good things to come for s bank limited friends see you in the video very soon